an investigation into an officer involved shooting in Fairfax County following an incident at a home in McLean yeah. last night. Let's follow it up with David Kaplan. He's live outside of the home with the latest from police. Well, good evening to you. I can tell you there's been an active and ongoing investigation at this home in McLean. We've seen a Fairfax police officer outside all day. I can also tell you that right now it looks like forensics teams are taking pictures in the front part of the home near the front door. Now, we're still waiting on an identification of the person who died and any insights into what he or she may have been holding in his or her hand when they allegedly lunged at police. Neighbors have called this shocking. Very quiet neighborhood. Yeah. I mean, we've been here 60 years, so it's very quiet. We saw all the fire trucks going and, you know, wondered what it was. Didn't dream it was this. I really thought it was, you know, somebody who had had a heart attack or, you know, something, something like that. That's what would happen in this neighborhood. All right, let's walk you through the timeline from police. Seven o'clock last night, police get a call from this home saying someone's in distress. Police arrive with a mental health responder too, but could not locate the person. Another call comes at 845. Police said this one more frantic. Police get here and have items thrown at them. Then they said the person they were looking for appeared to lunge at them with an item in their hand. Two officers tried tasers first, not successful. A third officer shot and killed the person, According to police, I spoke with Supervisor Rodney Lusk this afternoon. He's the chair of the board's public safety committee. He could not comment on the ongoing investigation, but we asked about the mental health responder and how that's all supposed to work in the county. It's a relatively new program, and they're already looking to expand it. Take a listen on how it works. The 911 dispatch has been improved, so we've done some triaging with it to identify where, when the calls come in, we know if there is criminality or if there is a threat to a person themselves or a threat to others and there's a mental health and substance abuse uh, component, we'll have the police and the behavioral health go on those calls. So we know that there was one of these mental health responders who came at 7 o'clock. I've confirmed tonight that there was not one who came for the 845 call. Again, Fairfax police expecting to put some information forward at some point this evening. We'll be sure to keep you posted and bring you the latest in our next hour. Back to you.